Hey, welcome back to Zombie Tactics. Today I want to talk a little bit more about, um, about gun control and the, the possibility of gun control. And I'm thinking about this in the, in the wake, of course, of the Sandy Hook shooting. And the idea that what we really want to do is look for common sense, reasonable solutions. And this is a phrase that gets tossed around a lot. Common sense and reasonable. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, to me, part of being reasonable and applying common sense means that you trace down the source of a problem and the nature of that problem before you start offering up all kinds of solutions for it. And the reason for that is that if you don't do that, you're likely to do the wrong thing. Now, doing the wrong thing could mean, well, best case scenario, you waste a lot of effort and you don't do anything to address the problem. Worst case scenario means that you actually make it worse. And certainly, it's difficult to imagine anything worse than a Sandy Hook, but we don't want to go in that direction, so we better get it right. Well, it suggested that AR-15 rifles, or AK pattern rifles, are the source of the problem, because they've been used in a high number of these mass shootings. Now, the reasoning seems a little odd to me, because AR-15 just happened to be the most popular rifle sold. It's a little bit like saying, well, Honda Civics are in more accidents than Dodge Neons. We wouldn't expect it to be any different than that because there are just more Honda Civics on the road than there are Dodge Neons. That doesn't tell us anything about Hondas being especially dangerous or being the source of the problem. And frankly, we'd know better at that point in time. So let's pretend, though, for a sake for the sake of argument, that we could magically snap our fingers or wave a magic wand and we could eliminate all the AR-15 rifles and all the AK pattern rifles in the world, including the illegally owned ones or the ones that people would not readily give up. Now, would that eliminate our mass shootings? I don't think so, because the deadliest mass shooting in history, um, on record anyway, was done with a Ruger Mini-14. Now, that's not a military rifle. It's not issued to any military in the world. It doesn't have any military features. It's generally considered a common hunting rifle or, or truck gun or ranch rifle. It's the kind of thing a, a rancher or a farmer might throw in the back of his truck to, to, uh, you know, to deal with varmints or pests or things like that. But even so, that meant we ended up having the, the deadliest shooting in record. There was like something like 60 people killed in Norway with that rifle. So maybe we need to eliminate all of those too. Hell, let's get rid of all the rifles and let's see where that gets us again. Again, we're just going to wave our magic wand and we're going to make this happen. Well, that still leaves us with an incident like Gabby Giffords getting shot in the head, altering the course of her life forever. She's permanently disabled and she had to witness, probably, six of her friends being gunned down by a nut. Well, what did he use there? Well, he had a handgun, no rifles involved, but he had a 33-round magazine. So maybe we should look at those magazines. Maybe those are the source of the issue. Maybe the fact that you can have 33 rounds of ammunition in a single magazine, maybe that's the thing we really ought to be worrying about. Well, let's get out the magic wand again. Let's wave that and get rid of those, too. Well, that wouldn't have stopped Cho at Virginia Tech from killing 32 people and wounding 17 others. What did he use? He used a couple of handguns. They were about 170 rounds fired that they uh, verified, and he had 17 magazines. Do the math. That's 10 round magazines, or at least he shot 10 times before reloading. And one of those pistols was a very, very common plinking gun, a target gun. It was a 22 caliber, not anything that anybody would think of as powerful and not anything that's issued to any police force or any military. Heck, in my own county, they won't even let you concealed carry that if you have a concealed carry permit because their attitude is kind of like come on 22 you're not even serious so we can't say that's the source of the problem either it's not these handguns and it's not these uh, high capacity magazines that doesn't present that doesn't prevent the problem so let's just envision Diane Feinstein's wildest imaginations and dreams and say that we could poof away all those guns with our magic wand or in her words Mr. and Mrs. America turn them all in and let's pretend that at the same time all the criminals are going to turn them in too. What would that do us do for us? Well, in the Oklahoma bombing, 168 people were killed, including 19 children under the age of six, and it injured more than 680 others. And there was property damage and what windows blown out for miles around, and something like 80 cars either blew up or caught on fire or something like that. Well, then we have the Happy Land fire, the Happy Land Dance Club fire. And something like 87 people got killed in that incident in 1980. And all that took was one gallon of gas and, I don't know, what would you call it, an assault match? And that brings us to Bath Township, Michigan.
45 people dead, including 38 children. This was the worst school massacre in all of U.S. history. And this was at a time before there even was an AR-15, before there even was an AK-47. There were no Glocks at that point in time, and there were no 33-round magazines for them. No bullets, no guns were involved. No adjustable stocks, no pistol grips, no flash hiders. It didn't have anything to do with a firearm. Now it appears at some point we need to recognize that evil, crazy people do evil, crazy things. And that their tool of choice is neither the nature nor the source of the problem. That is, of course, if we actually want to be reasonable and apply some common sense to it. That's Zombie Tactics for today. We'll see you next time. Keep your powder dry and always aim for the head.